Good. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Can you hear me? Super. What if I stand like this so I don't have to hunch over the whole time? Is this fine? Fantastic. All right. Hello, everyone. Pleasure to have you here. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Chris Litson. With me is Alan Ang, who I'm sure most of you have seen already running around all over the place uh, at this conference. <coughs> We're here to talk about part of what uh, my team does at Wikimedia Deutschland, which is data partnerships and how that will connect with the future of linked open data in general. Um, what we'll talk about uh, is a brief explanation of linked open data. Alan will tell you about that. He's, he's the brains, I'm the beauty. Uh, make of that what you will. Um, we'll talk about what we are in uh, data partnerships, who's part of the team, what we do. Uh, we'll talk about why we do it. We'll talk about where we're going next. And we'll talk about how you wonderful people can help us get there. So, Alan. Right. Thank you, Chris. So uh, let me just do a quick, quick, quick overview of link open data, what it is, um, because it is pretty important, right? It sets the uh, fun fundamental uh, foundation of uh, why we do what we do today. I'm sure many of you have heard about open data. There are several open data initiatives all over the world by different government. Um, open data essentially refers to data that is freely available for anyone to access and use, right? It is important because such data uh, can then be used by individuals, businesses, governments, you know, to make better decisions and to create new products and services that will benefit humanity as a whole, ideally. You know. So having data that are open uh, doesn't necessarily you know, answer the whole, the, whole, the whole picture, right? Um, we also have this concept of linked data. So what is linked data? Linked data, therefore, is a way of publishing data on the web that can be easily connected to other data information. Now, this linked data concept works by using standardized formats and protocols to link different data together, thereby making it possible to be discovered and be retrieved in a more efficient, effective manner. So we have open data, we have linked data, what is link open data, right? It's the next level. Having you know, open data initiatives, but the data is not linked to one another. It's not necessarily uh, very effective and useful, but it's an important first step, yes. So link open data, therefore, is a set of principles for publishing and sharing data on the web in a way that is easy to be connected and to be used and reused. So this principle of link open data include using, you know, formats that make open data openly available and more importantly, linking the data to other data sets to create a web of interconnected information. So the link data open, sorry, link open data ecosystem, thereby, therefore, is a way of sharing and connecting data on the internet so that not only people, but more importantly, machines and computers can easily use and reuse, right? So there has many benefits to this. Um, for example, increased visibility, increased accessibility, and improved data quality on the link open data web. So let me talk very quickly about um, the three important products or projects that a lot of people may have heard of, but not very familiar with behind our Wikimedia Deutschland's link open data strategy. Um, first, we have on the right side, Wikidata. Yes, everyone knows about Wikidata, which is good. If you do not know, there are several um, uh, sessions that took place earlier uh, in this week, and it's all pre-recorded. You can take a look at it. If you seriously still do not know about the Wikidata, come look for me. I'll be very happy to sit down with you and have a quick conversation. Um, it is a free and open uh, knowledge graph, right? And arguably, I'll put it down here, arguably uh, the mother of all structured data in the world today. There's more than 100 million data items on Wikidata. So apart from Wikidata, uh, in Wikimedia Germany, we also have two main products, namely Wikibase Suite and Wikibase Cloud, which I'm sure most of you are not very familiar with, and that's why we are here today as well. So Wikibase, in short, right, just for you to understand very easily, it is a software that is powering and running Wikidata. So um, Wikibase, therefore, is an open source database applications that also allow for collaborative editing and management of structured data, just as what you can do on Wikidata. 
right? So Wikibase Suite requires the user to self-install the Wikibase software onto your own database, and in, uh, it requires self-hosting. So in order for the users to implement Wikibase Suite, you will require some form of you know, solid technical understanding to use. However, if you do not have a very strong technical background, we have our latest little project called Wikibase Cloud, which is um, a cloud-hosted Wikibase instance that you can sign up for and uh, be part of the Link Open Data Web in this sense. And next, I'll hand it to Chris to talk about the partnerships team and projects. Yes, very briefly, I will talk about who we are as a team. Alan will give you a little bit more about what we are as a team. Um, so who's in the team? I'm in the team, obviously. Uh, I'm, I'm the head of the software communications uh, team at Wikimedia Deutschland. Uh, we're embedded in the software development department there. And half of what the team does is data partnerships. And the data partnerships are all handled, handled by our partner managers. So we have Alan, of course, who is uh, kind of our resident expert on Wikidata. Uh, we've got Christos, who is kind of our resident uh, expert on Wikibase. And then we've got Georgina, who is sadly leaving us very soon. Uh, and I know that many of you out there in the institutions have already met her, um, but uh, I'm afraid she'll be going, which is sad. But uh, if you ever want to know anything about linked open data or how you can get involved in Wikidata or Wikibase, these are the people that you can speak to at Wikimedia Deutschland. So, Thank you, Chris. Uh, what is data partnerships, right? Uh, this is just a quick introduction about our project goals and what we want to do. So um, we see uh, data partnerships as a very, very important key component of our larger strategy that I briefly spoke about earlier on uh, for Wikidata and Wikibase. So through data partnerships, what we really want to do is to aim to contribute uh, to a healthy and community-driven link open data web. I wish to emphasize uh, here this community-driven, right? It is not a very, it's not a top-down approach, it's not a Wikimedia Deutschland approach, no. It's going to be a community-driven approach. And that's why you can see me walking around, reaching out to different communities, you know, from, from, from this wonderful group of people, attendings here. Um, so that we can really have a deeper conversation and meaningful conversation uh, for the link open data uh, projects. So as you can see from this diagram on the right side, um, you can see in the middle there is just Wikidata, right? Right at the heart of it all. And um, on the link open data web, we see many, many small Wikibase logo. So what this means is that if uh, we are able to encourage more and more institutions all over the world uh, to participate in the link open data web through Wikibase, um, then they will be able to be connected to uh, the world of link open data web through other uh, Wikibase instances and also more importantly through Wikidata as well. And as you may or may not already know, Wikidata is also connected to many, many of the Wikimedia projects uh, that's existing in uh, Wikimedia movement today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so um, the web of link open data, therefore, you know, should really be accessible and usable. And ultimately, our biggest goal is to increase the sum of you know, free human knowledge for everyone else, right? So. Um, there are several ways of how we can get this whole vision uh, done and, uh, and to achieve this vision. Three main ways is collaboration, sharing knowledge, transparency, and openness. So our data partnerships team works together with different organizations, you know, like myself, to leverage on the data and to make this data available uh, through the Wikimedia projects. So by using link open data, we ensure that this data is therefore easily discoverable and reusable. Um, some of the organizations, if you have not heard of, we work with um, partner organizations like the German National Library. We work with Smithsonian. Is Jackie here? Yay! <laughs> we also work with um, the uh, Ghana Parliament. We work with Nigerian libraries. Uh, my community Singapore archives, as you have uh, seen uh, around as well, in one of the sessions. And we believe that you know, knowledge should be free and easily accessible to everyone through this sharing of knowledge uh, 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 theme that we really want to, to achieve. So by adopting the link open data principles, uh, it enables the institutions to make it easier for us to you know, share the data and knowledge across different communities and more importantly, 
uh, across uh, different projects as well. So we also want to promote transparency and openness, which aligns with the whole Wiki movement's uh, values. So by, ado by adopting these principles, we are creating an ecosystem where data can therefore be shared and reused and built upon by anyone in the community who wants to contribute. So we do this by raising awareness. As you can see me running around trying to tell and uh, share these ideas with different members of the community and also speaking to different institutions and organizations who has never, never heard of Wikipedia. Yeah, there are. Uh, Wikidata or even link open data principles, right? Uh, we do this by, you know, uh, I wouldn't say attending workshops, but also organizing and running workshops and attending conferences like this. Um, I also attend several other conferences like IFLA, you know, uh, um, one of the largest library uh, uh, con conferences in the world. So we do this like product presentations, workshops, or Wikidata wiki base. So if you or your community or your organization really wants to uh, wants us to come and you know share link open data, wiki data, wiki base uh, projects, or running your workshops, please let us know. We'll be very happy to uh, support you in these projects. Right. We also build relationships, um, networking, consulting. Um, so we keep in touch. We keep each other cozy. So we know. Um, everyone uh, who is in the whole ecosystem and who are interested. So we organize and participate in various community events. Yeah, um, we try to, you know, limited budget, but we try to be there. Uh, we help our partners get involved uh, in projects and connecting with institutional users of Wikidata and Wikibase as well. And of course, very importantly, very, very importantly, we facilitate exchanges between some of the institution's engineers, engineering partners, uh, with our uh, engineers' uh, uh, colleagues as well. So, yep, the last point you see there, facilitating communication, you know, global media, Wikimedia movement. Uh, we also work with the communities to collect feedback on their experiences of using uh, Wikidata or Wikibase, and we will provide support, you know, to support them to navigate through the various communities. So we also work on documentation as well as, you know, gather feedback and user requirements. So we can see we try to do a lot of things here, and we're a very small team, um, but we are not doing it alone. We are doing it together with every one of you sitting here, with everyone in the community. Yeah. So some of the partners that we have been working with, um, as you can see here, German National Library, we have Ecom, Smithsonian, my community from Singapore, um, and many, many uh, of the other partner organizations that are not listed here as well. Oh, so let me hand back over to Chris to talk about the future of data partnerships. Thank you, Alan. So yes, now that you're all up to speed on linked open data and up to speed on who we are and what we do, uh, I'd like to talk about what comes next and how you folk can actually help us get there. So what our goals for the future are, uh, increasing Wikidata and Wikibase use. And uh, that's one of the reasons we're actually at events like this. Um, Wikidata is well known, Wikibase very much less so. Uh, and it's uh, beholden to us to get out there and let people know what's happening, which is what's happening right now. Um, so we do our best to put together presentations like this, attend these events, uh, and encourage community participation, which we do via the other section of the team called community communications. Um, we want to make sure this continues to happen, and I will talk a little bit more about that on a future slide. Um, building partner capacities is a key part of where we're headed. Um, lots of people want to get involved with Wikidata and Wikibase, but not all the institutions we speak with have the technical capabilities to actually do that. Um, the, the advent of Wikibase Cloud has made that easier for institutions now that uh, smaller, less technical uh, groups can actually set up their own Wikibase instances, but it's still not simple to do. Um, so we wanna create uh, documentation and information and workshops where People can educate themselves on how to put these things together and then ultimately start educating other people as well. Once everyone is up to speed on how it works, we want to move into new regions, um, not just geographical regions, though we have started to do that. Uh, a shout out to Bodhi if he's here who has helped us move into India already. Um, but we want to focus on underserved communities, underserved languages, under, underserved knowledge in general. Um, it's a complicated topic, uh, and I wouldn't say 
we're doing the best job right now, but we are learning a lot as we go, and we're very keen to get any uh, help or feedback or information on that topic from anyone that's here. So, um, two years ago, uh, I wrote a very general strategic plan for where I would like to take this team at its formation. And this is how we're doing so far with each of those goals. For the Wikidata and Wikibase promotion, um, we really wanted to develop a marketing strategy and a marketing budget. Uh, this has not happened yet, um, but it's, it's still on my to-do list. Uh, it's, it's something I think that uh, is, is really necessary um, because we can only be in so many places uh, so many times in the year. Uh, but it's still important for people to hear about what Wikibase is. So we want to do something that less, requires less human interaction on our behalf uh, to spread the word. Uh, so we need to develop that and then get it out there. Um, ongoing, as always, is uh, increasing the global use, spread, and awareness. Um, introducing different partners to each other, which is something Alan is doing here. Um, if you have a project you want to talk about, you can talk to us and we can connect you with the right people in the community or other projects that are similar. Uh, and we're always trying to find Wikimedia chapters to work with. Uh, we're doing some stuff with the Czech chapter, some stuff with the, Swede, the Swedish chapter, and some stuff with Wikimedia UK. Um, but if you are a chapter representative, then we would love to talk to you. And we finished one thing, and that was to come to stuff like this. Uh, obviously, that is something that continues to happen. Partner capacity. So we need to figure out what people need. Um, this is much more complicated than uh, I, I would have thought, because uh, everyone needs something different, and there's only so much we can do. Um, originally, our focus was GLAMs, galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. Uh, and each of those groups needs specific things, and each of the people, each of the institutions within each of those groups uh, needs specific things. So we're trying to broaden our horizons and come up with a more general idea of what people need, um, but this will take time. Uh, we need to come up with a coherent strategy for capacity building. I have in my mind how this will work, um, but it needs, the first part really needs to be fulfilled before uh, this can happen in earnest. But we have started working on this already. Um, part of this is a, a kit that we're hoping to release fairly soon that will show you wonderful people how you can onboard people into the Wikibase ecosystem yourselves. Um, and we need to create more spaces for exchange between our engineers and partners. We, we have some, uh, but it's, it's not as open or as smoothly flowing as we would like. Um, if you haven't heard of the Wikibase stakeholder group, I would say this is the place to go for this. Uh, there's a link at the end of the presentation where you can find out how to join. Uh, and what we have done, we have looked into the translation of our documentation. This is already set to go for at least French and Spanish, I would say, for this year, but we're looking at many other languages. Um, it's more a finance thing than anything else, but uh, we should have at least two new languages by the end of the year. And the new Wikibase website is up. It's wikibay.se, uh, everyone's favorite website, as Dan Schick likes to say. Hi, Dan. Um, and we have a new documentation repository. Both of those are also linked at the end of this presentation. <coughs> Uh, and everything else here in New Regions is all work in progress. Um, we are trying to earn the trust of more communities and institutions around the globe. This really requires on us uh, improving our knowledge of what these institutions need elsewhere and how to connect with these different cultural and institutional groups. Um, we've, we've tried a few different things um, and India is kind of a test case for us right now. Um, joining conferences that have more diverse attendees, uh, target communities to better understand their needs, feeds directly into the previous point, I feel. And we need to come up, once we've done this test case in India, with a proper strategy for how to move beyond the EU and North America. Um, while there are many valuable institutions in both those locations, uh, and simply by dint of our location, we end up dealing with a lot of EU organizations, 
there's so much knowledge spread out across the entire globe that we would really like to get out and uh, help people open up. All right. So, what do we want in 10 years' time with all that background? The plan is to have established connections with institutions in each major geographic region. Um, we've tapped into three and a half, I would say, so far. Um, we, we really want to push a little further into Africa. We've, we've tapped into West Africa so far, but there's still much more to do there. And there's a, there's a lot of Latin America that we haven't even touched. Um, we want to make sure that the partner network is the source of support. Um, we love talking to everyone, but there's, there's a lot of people out there and a lot of institutions, and we can't do all that talking. Uh, not just that, we're not that technically talented. Um, we're, we're wordsmiths, we're not coders. Um, so we, we are better at connecting people to other people that actually know what's going on. Um, so we kind of want you guys to do the, the heavy lifting on all of that stuff. I hope that's okay. Um, related to that, we also want the Wikibase ecosystem to be growing on its own. Uh, which is the capacity building I was talking about before. Uh, we want to teach you how to bring new people into Wikibase and Wikidata because um, there's only three of us and there's a lot of stuff out there. Um, and we want to make sure that Wikibases are actually connected to each other and are open and available for everyone. Uh, we have a lot of Wikibases out there that are standalone or that have um, data that is not completely open, and our job is to chip away at those walls and uh, make sure everything is linked, hopefully all the way back to Wikidata, so that uh, you know we can add another million entries onto that with, without really trying. <laughs> Yay! All right. Thank you. Thank you. Almost done, I promise. All right. So how, how can you guys get involved in all this wonderful stuff I talked about? Uh, the easiest way is to just email us um, at swe underscore partnerships at wikimedia.de. Um, we are willing to talk to anyone and answer any questions you might have. Um, if you don't want to uh, email us, you can just spread the word uh, about who we are, what we do, or just about Wikidata and Wikibase. If you have a project that you want to put on Wikibase, or you have a Wikibase already that you want to do more with, you can ask us about that. Uh, if, if it's not specifically under partnerships, then the other half of my team can definitely help you there. So we are the right people to talk to. Um, you can also promote us to institutions. Uh, if, if you work at an institution that uh, is looking to digitize or wants to get involved with Wikibase or Wikidata, feel free to send them in our direction. Um, yeah. And thank you all very much. Questions? Thank you. Uh, that was super interesting and really insightful. Thank you. Um, I'm also not a technical person, so thank you for delivering it in a way that meant I could engage with it and understand it. Um, so I, in the brief for this session, I'm not sure whether you used this word in the presentation, but you talked about global institutions. And so I wondered, firstly, how you define a global institution. But I guess the heart of my question is where one of those is based in a country. I mean, they're all going to be based somewhere. If they're based in a country with a Wikimedia affiliate, what's your strategy for working with that affiliate or just sharing information about what you're doing? Hi. I think I can take that question. Um, we, we really want to be very transparent, and we have always been very transparent with the various local Wikimedia. My affiliates. question was quite loaded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I think it's possible that sometimes things slip through the net. Um, there's an organization that Wikimedia K was developing a partnership with over two years, and they went a bit quiet, and the next thing we knew, they were working with Wikimedia Deutschland, which was maybe what they needed to do, but it felt really like we'd been cut off at the legs. So I appreciate that things slipped through the net. I'm sure it wasn't in any way deliberate, but it's just maybe I should have framed this more as a comment. You know, please make sure you are reaching out to the local affiliate where you're yes, working with institutions. Yes. And this is something that, um, that's why in, the, in, my, in my little talk, my section earlier on, I was just trying to be very, very explicit about this. 
that we are, we are trying our very best and we will definitely uh, always reach out to the local affiliates and the local communities uh, when we are reaching out and conversing with any institutions all over the world, any part of the world. Um, because we believe that we can't do this independent of the community. It is just not sustainable, right, firstly. Um, secondly, we also believe that, you know, um, what we do is a community effort. And once we involve the communities together, we are able to achieve much more than what we intended to achieve. And that's why uh, we, if you, I mean, I was speaking to uh, representatives from Wikimedia New Zealand, right? Yes, hi. Yeah. And um, I was just telling them that, hey, you know, I met up with um, a, uh, someone from the New Zealand National Library last year, right? And to start having, we started having some conversations about, you know, trying to um, have some open data, open access data from the uh, members of the Pacific Islands as well. And I told them that I can't do this without you and we are not going to do this without you. So uh, Wikimedia New Zealand just recently, you know, began to uh, form out very nicely. So I said, let's do this together. Uh, let's be connected. I will write an email to introduce, put you inside. We should do this together, right? So that is something that forms the very fundamental basis of why we do what we do. And moving forward, we really want to, you know, involve the communities more and that we should involve the communities more together. So I hope that answers your question. I mean, if it you answers do the fail, question in terms of your aspiration, certainly. So I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, and, and we are practically trying to do this as well, you know. Um, so if, um, if any of you has felt, you know, that slighted, you know, in this historically in the past, then I sincerely apologize, right? Um, if um, you have felt like this, um, come speak to me. No, it's fine. And you're, yeah. it's clear that you're a small team. So mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just being aware of that. Um, and it's very clear from everything you've articulated in the presentation and now that that's absolutely the way yeah. you want to be working. Um, so that's really reassuring. Thank you so much. Yeah, and we will make things right if it's not right. And uh, <laughs> we apologize no, no, for please, feelings <laughs> that were hurt. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, hi, so this is a question from the YouTube section from Aina Lee. Do you think that Wikidata labels could be used for translation since these are not complete sentences? <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, I guess I should look at the camera when I answer this question. Um, but I'm not able to provide a meaningful answer to this question because uh, we are not really technically savvy with regards to this. And whatever quest answers that I give now is not going to be satis satisfactory. But what I do encourage is, please send me your questions in the email that we have seen just now in the slide. Can we go back to that page? Yep. To SWE underscore partnerships at wikimedia.de. Not only with this question, but really also explaining your use case on why do you think that it is important to you. And then uh, we would, you know, uh, check with the community or even check with our colleagues from the uh, product side and see if they can, can give you a more uh, satisfactory answer that will meet the use case of the project that you're working on. Yes, okay, I guess our time is up. And uh, yeah, if you feel free, if you have any more questions, come over, speak to me or speak to Chris, speak to us, or just drop us an email. Thank you very much for your time and uh, joining us in this session. And thank you those online who are watching. Thank you.